Hello students, uh, this is the second video on valuation of bonds. First video I have already made, right? The people who did not see the first video, do watch that video first before watching this video for better understanding sake. And I will share the link of that video in the i button as well as in the description box. So as you are already aware, the valuation of bonds or debenture is of two types. One is bonds with maturity, bonds in perpetuity, in the sense irredeemable. So in the earlier video, I have already covered bonds with definite maturity period. Already covered bonds with definite maturity period with concepts and basic idea of what is bond and how the present value of bond will be calculated. In this video, we'll focus on bonds redeemable in installments and bonds in perpetuity that is irredeemable. So let's start. So bonds redeemable in installments. What is the formula for calculation of VD? The formula is R1 plus P1 divided by 1 plus KD whole to the power of 1 so on it will be calculated till the bond is redeemed whereas uh, the VD is equals to value of debt or bond R1 R2 annual interest in the form of rupees for period 1 2 so on KD is required rate of return that we expected by the investor. N is equals to number of years to maturity in the sense how long this bond will be redeemed in how many years. Whereas P1, P2 uh, will be annual installment paid by the company to the, the bond holder. Annual installment amount. right? So like this by applying this formula we can easily calculate the bond value if it is redeemable in installments. So if you see this question, a company is proposing to issue a 5 years debenture of 1000 redeemable in equal installment at 14% rate of interest per annum. So rate of interest that is coupon rate is 14%. If investor has a minimum required rate of return, 12%, that is KE is 12%. Calculate the debenture present value of the firm, right? So the most important is these debentures are redeemable in equal installments in the sense what 1000 will be redeemed equally in 5 years. So 1000 divided by 5 will be 200 rupees will be redeemed equally in installment for a period of 5 years. So for this when you come to the solution the formula is remain same that is VD just know what the formula I have shown. Whereas in this video VD we need to calculate uh, in this question sorry in this question VD we need to calculate whereas R1 R2 is 140 how I calculated 140 that is 1000 into 14 percent is the coupon rate of interest whereas KD is 12 percent whereas P1 P2 till P5 that is fifth year 200 rupees in the sense the annual installment of redemption is 200 rupees that is 1000 divided by 5 years. So this we should calculate right for this calculation I have prepared a table right so if you see the table the columns are year amount outstanding interest principal amount cash flow present value factor at 12 percent that is ke and present value of cash flow so year one what is the outstanding amount 1000 on this 1000 the interest will be calculated in the third column 1000 into 14 percent is 140 whereas the principal amount will remain same 200 rupees in the first year so interest plus principal amount 140 interest plus principal amount 200 will be the 340 that is cash flow whereas in the second year if you see the outstanding amount is 800 how i calculated 800 in the second year column 2 1000 minus 200 the principal amount already we made the payment in the first year itself so outstanding is 800 so interest will be also calculated on 800 that is 800 into 14 percent that is 112 so principal amount 200 plus interest 112 together in column 5 you can see 312 is the total amount payable to the that is receivable by the investor payable by the company receivable by investor that is bond holder in the third year 800 minus 200 600 interest is calculated on 600 that is 14 percent of 600 is 84 along with 200 rupees principal amount 284 so on i calculated till fifth year then present value have taken at 12 percent as ke is 12 percent so if you see the present value table right you can easily get this value that is 0 0.893 0 0.797 0 0.712 636 
and 0 0.567 so these are the present values present value table you can find or else you can get in uh, on calculator even right or else you can apply directly mathematical formula vd is equals to so in the form of table i have done this problem so multiply with cash flow column 5 with column 6 you will get column 7 so make the summation of those values that is 1046.58 this is the value of bond so this is the way we need to calculate the value of bond if it is redeemable in equal installments i hope i made you understand clear uh, now we will understand bonds in perpetuity that is irredeemable bond what do you mean by irredeemable bond the bond which will not be redeemed until the company exists right so we consider the company will long lost a period it, it is considered as an infinite period so company will not redeem these bonds these bonds can be sold and purchased in the market so for these bonds how to calculate the bond value vd is equals to r by kd r is the interest amount kd is the required rate of return so like this we can easily calculate by applying the formula right as this formula is applied because this bond is irredeemable bond please bear in mind so whereas vd is equals to value of debt or bond r is equals to annual interest kd is equals to required rate of return if you see this question mr prasad a, has a perpetual bond of the face value of 1000 he receives annual interest of rupees 80 rupees directly interest is given amount what would be the value if required rate of return is 10 percent simply apply the formula and you can get the answer vd is equals to we need to calculate r is equals to directly given 80 rupees kd is equals to 10 percent is provided in the question simple you apply the formula that is 80 rupees divided by 0 0.10 why did i take 0 0.10 10 percent can be written 0 0.10 that is equals to bond value is 800 rupees clear so like this you can calculate we'll take up one more question for the better understanding sake so if you see this question what it says the face value of the debenture is 1000 and annual interest of debenture is 12 percent what is the value of debenture if required rate of return is 12 percent 15 percent and 10 percent so three situations we have given a b c in these three situation how to calculate value of bond so when you come to the solution the formula is vd is equals to r by kd where r is equals to 120 rupees how did i how i got 120 rupees that is 1000 into 12 percent is the rate of interest so 120 rupees is r r will remain concept sorry constant whereas kd will change as per the situation a b and c when you see the situation a what is r 120 divided by kd is 0 0.12 therefore what is the bond value that is 1000 rupees whereas in situation b the k is getting k k e sorry it is written k d k e that is right k is 120 uh, divided by 0 0.15 that is equals to uh, 80 rup 800 rupees right so like this we can calculate the b situation also that is 120 divided by 0 0.15 whereas in the c situation 120 divided by 0 0.10 that is k e cost of equity or required rate of return is equals to 1200 clear so now the most important thing that you need to understand here what is happening when you compare with required uh, interest rate is 12 percent and in situation a your required rate of return is also 12 percent when both are same the bond value the present value of bond will remain the face value that is 1000 in a situation if the required rate of return is more than the coupon rate that is 12 percent in this case b situation it is 15 percent then what has happened the bond value will be less than the face value in the b situation bond value is 800 which is less than 1000 in the c situation if the bond value sorry coupon rate is more than the required rate of return in this case c situation the coupon rate is sorry interest rate is 10 percent coupon rate is 12 percent so coupon rate is more than the required rate of return in that case the bond value will be 100 and 1200 that is more than face value so precisely you bear in mind whenever the coupon rate and required rate of return is equal bond value will be equal to face value whenever coupon rate is more than the required rate of return right then what will happen in situation c 
the bond value will be more than the face value in the sense we are expecting only 10 percent whereas com company that bond is giving 12 more than that so face value of the it the market the present value of the bond will be more than the face value if we are expecting more bond is giving less the bond present value will be less than the face value this is the basic concept which i have already explained in the first video even i hope i made you understand so I hope uh, I have given clarity with regards to bonds, redeemable installment, bonds in perpetuity, right? So, all the best and thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos. Thank you very much.